Hey what's happening guys welcome to your second Vuex tutorial and in this video we're just going to create a simple view app which we can use to explore Vuex with. Alright so in the last tutorial we set up a blanket view application using the view CLI and it looks something like this in the browser. So this is a load of dummy content that the view CLI made for us and it's all being driven by this app.view root component. So this is the template right here and we have this data down here. We don't want any of this junk so what I'm going to do is just delete most of it. I'm going to delete all of this but I will keep this app ID right here. We're going to put all of our content within that. Also we don't need this message data down here either. Finally, I just want to strip out all of these styles because I don't want any of those. So if I save this now, then hopefully this is going to refresh automatically and we're going to see a blank canvas over here. Okay, cool. So this is what we're going to create. Just a very simple view application where we're going to have two sub components and one parent component. And this is going to be some kind of very simple shop where we're going to display four or five products. Okay. So these two sub components, they're both going to display a list of products. The products are going to be the same, but they're going to be styled differently. So I want you to imagine rather than seeing both of these components on the same page at the same time, each one is going to be somewhere different on the website and they're going to be styled differently. OK, but they're using the same data. So first of all, let's flesh out this parent component. So inside the app, first of all, what do we want to do? Well, we want to nest our other components. So I'm just going to create the tags for these first of all, and we'll come back to them later. So we'll call the first one product hyphen view, or rather product hyphen list hyphen one. And we'll do another called product list two, like so. Now we've not created these components at the minute, but we'll come back to those later. The second thing I want to do in here is create some data. So I want to create some kind of array of products. Now I'm not going to type this out. I'm just going to copy it from my GitHub page and paste it right in here. So it's a property called products and then it's an array and each item in the array is an object and each object represents a product. They've got a name and a price. This could be in like pounds or dollars, doesn't really matter. So anyway, there's our data now. The next thing I want to do is create these two things right here, these two components, right? So I'm going to right click the source folder and create a new folder and I'm going to call this components. This is where all of our sub components will live in this application. So we need two of these. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this product list one dot view. And then I'm going to create a new one called product list two dot view. So we have our two components now, we need to flesh them out and instead of just writing out everything, I'm going to copy this, paste it in product list one. We'll delete this data, we don't really need that and we don't need the name over here either. So now we want to flesh out this thing. So instead of having a div with an ID of app, what I'm going to do is give this an ID of product hyphen list hyphen one. And then inside I want a H2 first of all and this is going to be product list one. And by the way, if at any point you're struggling to keep up with this, then feel free to check out my Vue.js 2 for beginners playlist where it walks through all of this in great detail. I'm just quickly putting together a Vue application here, so I'm not going to spend much time explaining all the different concepts. So anyway, under this H2, I'm going to do a UL. And inside this UL, we're going to loop through some data using the LI tag and a V-4. And that's going to equal to something later on. We don't have the data within this component yet to do that, but later on we'll do it. And we're going to output our products right here. So I want to copy this now and I want to paste it inside this dude over here. And instead of it being product list one, I want this to be two. And I also want this to be two down here. Okay, so we have our two sub components now and we've saved both of those. The next thing I need to do is actually register and import those components in this root component so we can actually do this and nest them here. So first of all, inside the script tag, I'm going to import them both. So I'll say import, and it's called product list one from, and then inside a string dot forward slash to say the current directory, then components, and then it's forward slash product list one dot view. So we're importing this component right here. Place a semicolon at the end. I'm just going to copy this dude and paste it down below and change this to two and change this to two as well. So we've imported both of those components now. I need to register them with inside this object so that we can use them up here in the template. So to do that, I'm going to say components 
and this right here is going to be an array um, an object sorry and inside here we can register each individual one so the first one is product list one so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste it inside there and then we can say when you see this in the template i want you to use this component so we'll place that right there as the value of that the next one we'll do is product list two so let's paste this dude over here down here and then this is going to be product list two okay so we've imported both of those components now registered them right here and then we're nesting them within the template up at the top so now if we save this we can probably view those products over here in a second now there's no products at the minute we just see the h2s but what we need to do now is pass down this data this product data into each one of these components now how are we going to do that well we're going to use v hyphen bind to do that so v hyphen bind and we're going to bind to a property called products that's what we're going to send down and that's going to be equal to this thing here this property name products okay so we're binding this data and we're passing it down in component one right there and also this component product lists two so we'll save that and now we can go to this product list one component and we can accept that data and to do that all we need to do is define a property down here called props so i'll say props and that's going to be equal to an array and inside this array we need to say which data we're receiving well all we're receiving is the products data so we can just place that one element in there and then a comment at the end cool so now we can cycle through this products data right here so i'm going to say v hyphen for product that's a singular in products so by doing this what we can do is output a new li for every element that's inside this array of products all right and each time we cycle through and output a new li the individual product that we're currently cycling on is equal to this name right here product you can name this what you want i've called it product it's singular of products what we're looping through so inside this li i want to output two things the name and the price remember in the data we've got the name right here and the price so i want to output those two things so i'll output each one in a span the first one i'm going to give a class of name this is going to be for stylistic purposes later on and then we're going to output the product dot name i'm going to copy this and paste it down below again and this time i'll give it a class of price and we'll output product dot price right there we'll just stick a pound symbol before that okay so now we're outputting this data right here so if i save it you're going to see hopefully this stuff right here so i'm going to copy now all of this because we're going to do exactly the same inside this component right here we're going to output the same data we still need to receive it so let's come inside our object over here and we'll say props and in the array it's going to be the products that we're receiving so if i save this now then hopefully we're going to see the products out here as well just need to place a little comment at the end save it and now we see the products in product list 2 and product list 1 cool so like i said i want you to imagine these are in two different places on your website and they're displaying the same products but they're going to display them in a different style so i'm going to style both of these up differently we'll start with product list 2 and i'm going to pop a scoped keyword there so the styles only apply to this component now i'm not going to write all of these styles out because that's just going to bore us and this is not exactly a css course so i'm just going to copy these from my github repository and paste them right in here and save this and let's see if that styled product list 2. if i just refresh hopefully it will do it then yep and let's go to product list 1 and again i'm just going to copy these from my github repository and paste them right in here save that refresh now we can see product list one and product list two are styled differently finally what i want to do is just two little styles in this so again they're just coming from my repo and paste them in there just to give the font family of ubuntu and a color of kind of like a charcoal gray and it looks a little nicer cool okay so this is a vanilla vue.js application we're not using any vuex whatsoever at the minute and notice all of our data this products array is stored on this root component right here this is what we do in a normal Vue.js application but what i want to do in the next tutorial is go ahead and install vuex 
then create a centralized store for all of our data and store this data in that store instead. And I'm going to show you how to do all that in the very next tutorial.